This high-definition full-body scanner is the latest weapon in the fight against drugs in prisons. It shows detailed x-rays of inmates' bodies, and it's already stopped drugs entering at Barlini three times this week. Illicit substances are big business behind bars. Restricting supply creates a safer environment. In the last four months, it's had a massive impact on just the stability of the prison. So now staff are reporting that the place is, is far more easy to manage because they're dealing with more predictable days. They're not having to deal with emergency escorts, they're not having to deal with people, are as many people under influence. Um, so it becomes a bit more manageable for them. What's your name? Smith. What's your prison number? One, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll just get a wee letter for you here today, all right? Sometimes the simplest solutions are the best. Previously, criminals would lace letters with drugs that could be smoked or ingested. Now inmates get photocopies instead of the real thing. Mail has become more important to inmates here, as contact with the outside world was limited during COVID. The virus also brought the court system to a halt, with delays increasing overcrowding, making the challenge of social distancing almost impossible. For everyone in here, it's a complex environment. So you've got staff who are worried about their own health, you've got individuals who are here who don't want to be here worried about their own health and they're worried about their family's health and it's an old Victorian prison that comes with its own issues in terms of trying to keep the prison going um, try to keep it functioning because it is like a mini town. Two years ago a damning report declared Barlini as no longer fit for purpose. By 2026 Scotland's largest prison should be closing, replaced by HMP Glasgow. However that's four years away placing an extra strain on this Victorian site. It's a huge investment, of course it is, it's the biggest prison that we have in Scotland. It's a huge investment for the Scottish Government, So, but we have to get that right. Uh, and even things like incorporating things which we wouldn't have thought of five years ago, how do we cope with the future pandemic, building that into the, the design. So there have been issues with the planning permission and so on, it's always difficult in terms of a prison, but we're taking forward those plans. The youngest wing at Barlini is over 100 years old, but the challenges within these walls are not unique. The entire justice system is under scrutiny, with significant change being proposed at Holyrood. Ollie Dickinson, STV News.